South Korea is a country that is located in Eastern Asia on the southern part of the Korean Peninsula and is slightly larger than Indiana. It is officially called the Republic of Korea and its capital and largest city is Seoul. It is mountainous in the east and in the west and south there are many harbors on the mainland and offshore islands. The largest island, Jeju, has the highest mountain in South Korea at 6,398 feet. The terrain in South Korea is mountainous, though less rugged than that of North Korea. An independent Korean state or collection of states has existed almost continuously for several millennia. Between its initial unification in the 7th century from three predecessor Korean states until the 20th century, Korea has existed as a single independent country. In 1905, following the Russia-Japanese War, Korea became under the rule of the Imper Imperial Japan and in 1910 it was annexed as a colony. Korea regained its independence following Japanese surrender to the United States in 1945. The north of Korea was influenced more by the Soviet Union and the south by the USA and in 1948 a straight line was drawn along the 38th parallel. Korea was literally divided in two by a straight line drawn at 38 degrees north of the equator, and South Korea was born. Peace was short-lived though. North Korea invaded South Korea in 1950, and the Korean War raged for nearly four years. Since then, South Korean's government has invested in education, and the people have worked hard, and the results have been massive economic growth. South Korea is now one of the richest countries in Asia and home to giant companies like LG, Samsung, and Hyundai. If you spend time in South Korea, especially in Seoul, the wealth is obvious. There are huge shopping malls selling wide ranges of sparkling expensive goods to well-dressed people. Like most people ravaged by war, South Koreans are looking for peace. However, at the moment, peace looks to be a long way off. Relations with North Koreans are tense, to say the very least. South Korea's education system is globally renowned, a highly competitive national industry that churns out highly motivated students and sends them to the world's top universities. The Korean public education structure is divided into three parts, six years of primary school followed by three years of middle school and then three years of high school. Primary school consists of six grades, which begins after one or two years in preschool. Children study a range of subjects including languages, math, arts, and physical education. Children generally go to the school in the district where their parents are registered. Middle school education starts when children are 12 years old, and both middle school and high school are very intensive. Middle school lasts three years and is free. The purpose of education in middle school is to develop basic skills, which is provided for in 10 subjects. Students have elective subjects, which they choose based on their abilities and preferences. High school also lasts three years, and tuition must be paid unless students come from families with lower incomes. Admission is based on middle school academic records. Most South Korean families place great emphasis on school performance and spend about 10% of their income on their children's tutoring and schooling. School never ends for most students in South Korea. When they're done with their normal school day, most go to more private tutoring until late into the night. Vacation and weekend days are also filled with schooling, studying, and even virtual tutoring to help students get a leg up in the hyper-competitive education system and job market. Observers have dubbed South Korea's competitive education system, education fever, but students' dedication shows in test results. South Korean 15-year-olds ranked second in the world in reading and fourth in math, while teens in the U.S. are 17th in reading and 31st in math. 97% of South Koreans graduate from school and 82% go on to university. Countries that rank at the top worldwide also share something else in common. In these countries, teachers are known as nation builders and treated with the highest respect. In South Korea, teachers are drawn from the top third of their class and are hugely respected and are paid well. In South Korea, teachers on average earn more than lawyers and engineers. South Korea knows how to treat its teachers well. With respect to cost of living, educators here are some of the best paid in the world and teaching is by and large a highly respected profession. That respect comes from the level of training and expertise they must obtain to work here. After their fourth year of teaching, South Korean teachers are required to take 90 hours of professional development courses every three years. 
After three years on the job, they are also eligible to enroll in a five-week professional development program to obtain an advanced certificate. In conclusion, South Korea has made tremendous progress over the last 67 years. Similar to Americans, South Koreans follow many competitive sports and are making a name worldwide in several, including soccer. Many South Korean cities look similar to American cities, with wonderful art galleries, restaurants, si skyscrapers, and advanced subway systems. South Koreans also enjoy music and dance as top forms of entertainment, as do Americans. What is truly the most impressive fact about South Korea is their education system and their incredible success that system has produced over the last several decades. Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style!